Avni Gandhi was born in Mumbai, moved to America in the eighth grade, unapologetically Indian. When I walked into the first day of school, I had oil in my hair. I took chutney sandwiches for lunch. Avni's new classmates, though, were cruel, laughed at her unfamiliar hair and food. All these years later, and in her Irving home Tuesday, she told me. The first two weeks eating in a bathroom and the next two weeks eating with the librarian. I feel like I, I kind of gave up a lot of my Indianness um, just to fit in. A young mother now, determined to empower her children and all children to embrace who they are, Avni built a business, Basha Basics. She hand makes everything herself. Calendars to count down the days until Diwali, templates to teach young ones the Indian sand art of Rangoli, personalized anything so kids can see their name and their language celebrated. Building that confidence in them that I don't need to change because somebody else says what I'm doing is weird. Building that confidence, Avni told me, is just as important today as it was when she was in the eighth grade. You know, the lady in Plano. I you might remember this viral video of a racist, violent attack on Indian American women outside a Plano restaurant in August. It was scary. It was a scary reality. And I think one of my goals here is to be able to humanize everybody, right? And the way to humanize everybody is to kind of eliminate ignorance. Which is why Avni's line is not just for Indian families. She hopes schools might buy her product in bulk, expose all children and adults to the culture. With Diwali just around the corner Monday, that is Avni's prayer. It is six days until Diwali. In Irving, I'm Sydney Persing.